Hey guys, welcome back to Civilization 6. And uh, today we're going to be playing a Norway game. Now, for those of you who tuned in last weekend, I did actually play a Norway game. And it's, it was meant to be a, a quick Norway game to force me to use naval units. And uh, it was going okay until the stream died. And then uh, the stream died so badly, I lost all the local recording as well. It was unusable footage. I don't know what went wrong. Maybe it was a software issue. Maybe it was a YouTube issue. Not exactly sure what happened. Um, never mind. We didn't finish that game. We're going to start a new one. No problem. So... Welcome to the stream, Ewan Gibson, J Mac, Justin Hop, GameTube123, Hamza Yilmaz. That Korean name I still don't know how to pronounce, you have to tell me how to pronounce that name. Uh, Nick Berger. Welcome to the stream. Ah, it's almost 2017, in case you haven't noticed. And I have started my 2017 genre games to watch. Simulation went up last night. There's a lot of good games. A lot of good games coming up. I've got my lists pretty much down. Wow, so many good games coming up next year. Anyway, let's get this started. We're going to go to single player, create game, and I wanted to see... Now, last time when I did this, I tried Emperor Difficulty. And I've been playing my China game on Emperor Difficulty, and it looks... It looks, it feels okay playing Emperor Difficulty when it's, uh, it's uh, like eight players on the map. But 1v1, when I played 1v1 as Norway last weekend, the difference was way too obvious. Basically, I was trying to capture the enemy city and I couldn't because they were basically 20 turns ahead in tech. It was... Uh, not that it was too difficult, it just felt too unrealistic. So I'm going to drop back down to King. King seems to be the, the most realistic it can be while going up here. Because Emperor just, it felt weird. Like, you, you can't win in the first 150 turns just because they're, they're ahead of you with more units. Because the AI does cheat at higher difficulty levels. Anyway, we're going to go to Online uh, Speed. We're going to go to Island Plates and duel, because we're going 1v1. And I am going to be, where is he? Harald Hadrada of Norway. And we'll be against a random AI. Okay. And basically, I'm gonna force myself to go naval units, boats, and all of that, because Harald Hadrada has all these, these things here. There is the Berserker, might be useful. That's a medieval uh, era unit, but the Viking longship is what I really want to get. Ah. So, let's see if we can defeat this guy today. Like, in two plus hours. I think we might be able to do it at King difficulty. Starting in Ancient Era, online speed. Let's go ahead and get started. AI cheats in all games? Yeah, it, the, the AI definitely cheats in all games. But, uh... The difficulty level affects how much they cheat. Begins your greatest ah. quest. From this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. All men fear the approach of your ships, King Harold of Norway, Thunderbolt of the North. Your longboats dominate the waves, always at the ready to unleash their berserker armies on an unsuspecting shore. May Odin bless your kingdom. And may the skulls sing tales of the victories of your mighty warriors. Thunderbolt of the North. Let's get started. Where are we? There we are. Okay. So this is an island map. We're starting coast. We got a river. Very nice. Let's uh, have a quick look. Okay. We got bananas. We've got fish. And let's go ahead and build a city. Why does B not work? Like, sometimes hotkeys just don't work. I can't press B. Never mind. Boosted sailing because we're on the coast. Ah, here we go. Let's get things going. Uh, I'm gonna straight away... Now, I think I need to... 
focus on expanding early on much more. So I'm going to go build a settler because I don't think we're going to be attacked anytime soon. We're going to go straight for sailing because we are focusing on... We need irrigation for this. Mining. Yeah, we'll go for sailing straight up. Go to the next turn. Isn't C city? It shouldn't be. Um, options. Uh, key bindings. Uh, where is build city? Is it C? I thought it was B. Found city B. See? It's B. Anyway. Um, foreign trade has been advanced. We're trying to go a bit quicker here. So let me go to the interface. Auto unit cycling. I'm going to enable that. Okay. And actually, since we're going as quick as we can, I should turn on auto end turn. Confirm. That way we'll, we'll get things going much quicker. Alright, so that's a dead end on that side of the island. There we go. Now we can speed things sure. along. We got sailing. And we have to work towards... Uh, irrigation. And here, we're going to go straight for a settler and expand as soon as we can. We're going to go ahead and improve that sea resource. Got some barbarians. Um, oh, we need to own that tile. 25 to buy it? Yeah. There we go. At his best. Now, this is and after the they've patched the weapons. game, by the way. Um, fighting barbarians and plus production. This is after the patch, so a few things have been changed. Auto unit cycling is an option in the menu, which is fantastic. And, uh... Hmm. We should be able to take this barbarian. Oh, Mercury. Fantastic. Um, so this guy... We could... Uh, we need irrigation before we can improve those tiles, so we've got to wait there. Um, builders can no longer chop forests outside of your, uh, your territory, which is fantastic. Let's deal with these guys. We should be able to attack them twice and get a promotion, I think. Uh, you are gonna be improving that soon. So wait there. We got some whales there as well. As if there would be... And you, wait there, you, attack again, we'll get a promotion. <laughs> Enabling auto cycle, wow, isn't that an extra difficulty level? Matthias Svensson, uh, it's not too bad. Promotion available. There we go. And we got a settler, fantastic. Then I think we should go straight for a Viking longship. And we have irrigation in five turns, so we're just gonna keep skipping that. The settler is gonna make your way over to the right. Oh, they got a boat, that's not fair. Just before I wipe them out. Okay, that's good. Now let's go find a spot. Uh, that's one, two, three. That mercury is out of range from here, so... Oh, the boat can attack us from off coast there. It shouldn't be able to capture my uh, settler though. Don't die, don't die, come on. That's the positive aspect. Okay, we've got this, that's fine. Now you pull back there. You move up there. Ah, oh, another barbarian scout right there. Irrigation in two turns. Slime Muck Duck, welcome to the stream. Bjorn Dahlberg. Choose Civic. Um, craftsmanship, we'll be uh, improving three tiles soon enough. We've got this boat, fantastic. I think that boat left. So now we need to start scouting around here. Are those pearls? Very nice. Now, we got to find a place to build a city. And you are getting irrigation next turn. 
And we could uh, go for that marble as well. Marble, oh, we got three luxury resources right here. That's fantastic. Now, what did we get here? We got a boat. Let's get ourselves a granary. Thousands have lived without love. Not what? Okay, and mining, I think. Yeah, mining. Now, looking at this, I think here's pretty much the best spot. Yeah, that's pretty much the best spot. So you're gonna fortify right there. Why do hotkeys not work? I, I don't know why hotkeys sometimes don't work. Settler. So we get the wheat, we get the mercury. It recommends us build that, but I think here's better. We get the crabs. We're actually in range of the cattle. All right, fantastic. And you get yourself a builder. Now, we should be able to find a third spot for a city somewhere up here. Ah, fantastic. Yeah, but look, we got tea, we got pearls, there's so many luxury resources here. Do I need to research bronze work to farm, um, farm the trees? Uh, you need bronze work to cut them down. But we have irrigation, so let's get this plantation going. Now, we also have to find out who our rival is. And you are now going to go improve that marble. When you find yourself in a hole, as we got mining, and we can go for shipbuilding. Own two galleys. Um, let's grab the the early text first. So this looks like a pretty nice island. Uh, we should get ourselves a scout to get over there. Ah, Presla, fantastic. Early Empire's been boosted. If there are Very no good. Dogs in heaven, then when I die, I want to Wait, why was Early dogs. Empire boosted? I'm not too sure. Because that was supposed to improve three tiles, right? Huh. Oh well. Skill without imagination is craftsmanship. Now, do we want anything else here? Plus 50% production towards ancient and classical era naval units. That's good. Now, what are we going for? Shipbuilding? I think Viking longships count as the galley. Choose civic. We're going for early empire. Okay. Oh no, this was, this was what was boosted just now. I, re I read wrong. Where needs more housing? Here. So it looks like we're at the top of the world here. So our rival should be somewhere to the south. And we got this scout. Can we, we can't embark quite yet, but I will want to send this guy northwards. There we go, Stockholm. I think we're the first people to be meeting these guys. Yeah, we're getting envoys. Shipbuilding's been advanced, fantastic. So this guy can now scout southwards. We gotta find out who we're against and where they are. The naval policy didn't switch. Did I, did I forget to assign it? Not there, government. It didn't switch. I'm playing too quickly. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, here, let's grab ourselves a trader. Who has spotted us? There. Huh. I don't think those boats can do too much damage. So let's keep scouting. So why are these guys damaged? Has Stockholm been fighting them? I'm not too sure. Now here, we should... Uh, another settler? No. I think I'll get myself a Viking longship. There we go. It's Germany. Ich weiß wohl, dass auch ihr Kund geherrschen mit rechter Gewalt.
Holy Roman Emperor Frederick, King of Germany, Italy, Burgundy, and many others. It's an honor to meet you. We would love to sample your hospitality. Where are you? There you are. Who's the writing? So that's their capital. A size 5 city. That's why these guys were... were wounded. Okay, since we know where they are, is it quicker to go left or right? Left, I think. Okay, where is this expanding to next? We should actually just... Two turns for there. I'm gonna grab... This. And here, I think we should go for... Another settler. You are gonna go there and farm that. This is gonna start a trade route to... Actually, no, I should... Transfer this to Skedsmo. Because it needs the boost more. Now, this guy... I should start scouting out Germany as much as possible. See what we're actually dealing with. Oh, they got... they got gems. Is this thing... Back over the past. Okay, so I wanted to change this. I don't need gold yet. So yeah, let's confirm these policies. Yes. And gonna start this trade route. And here we're gonna grab military tra tradition and the scout. We need, I think shipbuilding allows us to... Um, yeah, shipbuilding allows us to embark, I think. Now, Germany. Let's see what we've got here. We're in the classical era. I and I want to start I want to start pillaging. I really want to start pillaging Germany. Oh, look at that. We could go straight for cartography and get caravels. Build two harbors. We should probably grab masonry first. Uh, roads upgraded. Classical roads is unlocked upgrading all roads in your territory plus 1 movement point regardless of terrain. It's nice that I think that notification is new. I, I don't remember getting that before. But there we go. Boosted state workforce. This builder here is meant to be going to improve those crabs. This is going to scout up this way. Toronto. Oh, fantastic. It's Toronto. Okay, Germany did meet Toronto first. Now, let's see what we're dealing with. Ah, they have some boats as well. There's some barbarian horsemen over there. I'm gonna grab that. This warrior, I'm gonna send down this way. I'm... Do I want to expand up here? Because there's a bunch of barbarian horsemen. I might want to expand... Oh no, we're at the bottom of the map. Oh, this map really is tiny. <laughs> It's it's smaller than uh, than I expect, so we have to go up there. We need we need something to deal with those horsemen, which means we need to get spearmen. Can we get spearmen yet? I don't think I got the tech. Melee strength thirty. We should be able to use boats, right, to attack the horsemen. So let's grab. What did we just get here? This is still broken. Out of all the things I wanted them to fix, this is the one I wanted them to fix the most, but it's still not fixed. Um, what did I get here? I can't remember. Let's grab ourselves another Viking longship. And here, we should see... Okay, they have expanded. They have two cities. This guy needs to start heading up that way. Don't die, don't die. 
There's some tea up here. Egypt that might be good. Carving a stone. Erect bravery. We're gonna need to start fighting barbarians again. Yes. And we gotta bring these warriors up. Decisive victory there. Okay. Promotion available. Settlers heading up that way. You guys are heading there. You scout on onto the land. So there's the horses, so I expect the barbarian camp to be somewhere over there. Salt, tea, sheep, cattle, horses. Might be nice to settle over here. That gives us fresh water. Alright, what do we got here? What allows us to build harbors? Celestial navigation? We never got astrology. <laughs> ah. State workforce. What did we get here? We could get the hanging gardens. But I don't think I need to go for wonders, really. Let's, uh... I think three cities will be enough for what we need to do this game. Let's uh, get more Viking longships. Now, over here. Okay. Let's have a quick look around. This warrior? I think we can actually leave this warrior here. Our boats should be able to keep our settlers safe. Oh, they're trading with Toronto. Yeah, we gotta... I wanna settle somewhere over here. So there's tea, there's rice, that's cattle. One, two, three. Somewhere on that side would be good. We'll leave this guy here. Um... Ooh, Singi de Bamaraha. Oh, fantastic. So, yeah. I want to settle there. Where are we? Okay, we've, we've almost circumnavigated the globe. Let's go ahead and just have a quick look over here. Wheat. So, I think settling there is perfect. We'll get the sheep, the tea, the horses, the natural wonder in range of the banana. In range of the salt and stone. Yeah, right there is where I want my city. This is our Viking longship. I think I need to start sending... So it is quicker to go to the right, I think. Well, it kind of depends. I want to start surrounding Germany with our Viking longships. Now, let's... Uh... Seven turns for the Hanging Gardens. I guess that's actually worth it. Get yourself the Hanging Gardens. This is my settler. Once I got my third city down, I'm gonna start attacking them. Which... Oh, you can actually be promoted. Uh, either one's good. And you can start coming back this way. Another Viking longship. 13 turns, 11 turns. Yeah, just make your way over. I'm gonna leave this guy here for a while until we can get our city down. I s <laughs> the auto unit cycle is a bit messed up, isn't it? So they got Cologne and Archen. Okay. A quick look up here. Is that more tea? Fantastic. We've sent a diplomatic envoy to you. Your delegation is most welcome. 
that gives us a bit of gold. Now we've got another Viking longship. Let's, uh... You get yourself a granary. You make your way... Is it just eight turns? Yeah, you get over there. And you get onto land. You're just keeping an eye on those horsemen. Okay, the barbarian camp is not there. Now, so they haven't got that many improvements near the coast. It's just that farm and that... those diamonds there. We could pillage those fish as well. Gonna leave that guy there. And oh, that's a settler. Is a tall ship. And a... It is equally important okay. to have a happy Okay, let's change policies. Um... How's our unit maintenance? Minus six from units? We could actually... We could actually use, uh... The gold. Why can't I... There we go. Yeah, confirm policies. Plus two gold from trade routes. No, we'll keep with the production. Actually, no, let's, uh, let's do this. And I will keep the naval units. That will give us plus two gold. Because we have one trade route. No city-states. I don't know if you could trade with Stockholm from here. I don't think so. Not too sure. Now, for you, you are gonna build a city right here. Yeah. You, can you actually... Uh, Viking longships can't actually attack. Just in case, I should start sending that guy over. Okay, okay, we're doing well. What are we going for next? I think I'm just gonna rush for cartography. Build two harbors to rush that. Political philosophy, definitely. Then it needs orders. We're gonna make your way over. What, what is going on here? Is there no short way around here? Huh, okay. So I remember seeing... Oh, have those huts been taken? Oh well. I think we've scouted enough with this guy. Automate explore, yep. You are going right there. So they have a bunch of warriors. I should play Insult Simulator. <laughs> <laughs> There's a game called Insult Simulator. I commend you on your prudence to aid that city-state is to invite death. Hmm. We got a city. It says to found it on the coast, actually. Now, founding it on the coast would actually allow me to build more boats. Should I build it there instead? Yeah, I think I should, actually. Now, we don't have enough boats around here to really start doing anything. No, no, no. Let's grab those warriors. You're going there next. Yeah, didn't a settler go down this way? They're gonna have a third city soon. Oh no, the settler's right there. The settler's not going anywhere. Huh. Okay. Didn't I have, like, a boat coming up in the north way here? Yeah, grab that. 20 faith? Okay. We got a Pantheon. Okay. But we also have our city, Oslo. 
decided to go for a coastal city because uh, it just builds more boats, isn't it? Now, what do we have here? God of the Sea, fishing boats. I think I just... Border expansion rate is 15% higher, city growth rate 10%. I think I'm just going to go for that. Boost wonders. Yeah, I don't think I need any of this stuff. Twenty-five percent production towards ancient and classical military units. That's what I want. <laughs> yeah, definitely. That, that's what I'm going for. Now here... I think I just need to rush walls in case those barbarians do come. You go back to auto explore. Okay. There's a Germany galley. So we got three cities. We're getting hanging gardens and this granary next turn. What is this? Ah, fortify. There we go. High stories by stairs. The hanging gardens. Water engines, by means of which persons appointed expressly for the purpose are continually employed in raising water from the Euphrates into the garden. Rob Brothers says, does he play Overwatch? You mean me? Yeah, I play Overwatch. Um, actually, my wife mainly plays Overwatch on the PlayStation 4. I know console, first person shooter, all of that, yeah, but... <laughs> she, she likes playing it on the, the PS4. Uh, I'm thinking of getting, getting it for the PC as well. Uh, now, I wanted to build two harbors. which we will get in 11 turns. And I'm gonna just put this right here, I think. Those two harbors will boost cartography, allowing us to get caravels, which are gonna be handy. And you guys... I don't think I can pillage if... Oh, the settler is going out. Now, didn't I have... Why are all these boats here? Like, are they actually... Like they got lost? Huh. Is there a way through here? No. So... I'm gonna send this guy up this way. I need to stop that settler. These guys... Like, look... <laughs> okay, there's definitely no way to do that. If I just scout out down this way... Yeah, there's no way to do this. Like, which way is it saying to go? My boats all went the wrong way. <laughs> they now have to go round this way, I think. Because th there's this weird long island that just connects all the way through. There's no gap. Huh. Politics is the art of the possible. The Politics, fantastic. We got a new government. Uh, change governments, we want to get uh, an oligarchy, I think. Boost wonder productions, autocracy... No, I think an oligarchy, yeah. And we're gonna keep that, and we're gonna deal with our unit maintenance and get that. Yeah. That should be good. Now you I'm sending around this way. Where is that settler? There. Let's just declare war. We don't, we don't need to... You can hear my cat, Callie, in the background. Uh, let's declare war. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, let's goodbye to you. Yep. 
Just trying to scare this settler a bit. Need to make sure they don't expand to a third city. Sending this guy around here. Choose a civic. Um, grab yourself mysticism. Unit needs orders. Granted a trader unit. Oh, fantastic. We could definitely use with the gold from Toronto, Stockholm. No, I think I want the production for here. Or the two science. The two science might be good too, but nah, let's go for production. Let's trade with Toronto. Oh, that's next to... Preslav is a safer route. Yeah, trade with Preslav. Oh, that sorts out a money issue. Unit needs orders, you are going back to auto-explore. Ah, oh, that was a good find. Slime McDuck did ask just now, do I have a cat? Yes, I have a cat, totally. Meows for no particular reason. Um, why can't this trade? No available destinations? If I transfer to Nidaros, maybe? Oh, I can... Attack there. I, I can't pillage these tiles which have um, units on them, but I should be able to pillage these diamonds next turn. And we gotta make sure that settler doesn't get out. Okay, why can't... Oh, are we actually limited? Oh, we've only got one trade route available. Alright, so I'm gonna put that on sleep for now. So these can't attack coastal areas, but... We can just keep messing with these units. That's fantastic. You can actually do a coastal raid, finally, yes! Use our special ability there. You're gonna wait right there. We got these Viking longships. Mysticism ah. is the mistake of an accidental and individual. Do you want to change any of this? No. We got cartography in 11 turns? Oh no, we should actually get the boost. That's in two turns. This is in eight turns. Ah, huh, because... Oh, we lost the production here. Right. Oh well. Let's, uh... What does this give? Wonders, buildings, and districts. There we go. Oh, we can actually attack the city centers. Like this. Huh. If that's the case... We can actually start attacking their capital. We just gotta get some boats over here. Alright, they do have one boat there. Let's attack there. So there is actually... there's no way... Does this... <laughs> Do you see this island? It's not an island. It actually connects from the South Pole all the way up to the North Pole. You actually can't make your way through anywhere. That's insane. Uh, you have to head west, right. Okay. Okay, so if that's the case... Lighthouse... We'll grab another Viking longship, send it over that way. You are... picking off any of these units that have unfortunately embarked. That's fantastic. We should be able to promote this guy. They have more boats coming out. Uh, yeah, we're sending boats this way. You... actually have a promotion. 
And plus seven combat strength. Come on. There we go. That's another promotion available there. And here... We got cartography in nine turns. Let's, uh... Melee strength 20, 30. Viking longships are still better. Bit surrounded here, but let's, uh... Pick off some of these. Alright. So they built the third city right there. I'm not too concerned, really. But basically, they're all up that way. This guy? Yeah, we're just gonna keep attacking things. <laughs> we'll be able to promote this Viking longship. And... Wasn't there a boat down there? Major victory. We could actually... Start attacking here. They have so many builders, wow. Uh, they really focused on builders. Anyway. Let's build... We could get a Viking longship a turn. Wow. We can actually attack. Yeah, let, let's start assaulting the, the capital. And actually, we've been playing for a while. We gotta take a quick break. So, I'm gonna take a micro break. I'll be back in 30 seconds. And... Hope you're enjoying it. And I think we could actually win a domination victory by capturing their capital. This part. I think it's possible. Well, this coming part, I mean. So... Hope you're enjoying it. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Vin Game Zach. I will be back in 30 seconds. And yeah, I think Achen will be ours. Be right back.